I am talking about Scorpio, the energy of Scorpio, whether it is your ascendant, your sun or your moon, or you have tons of planets or a lot of house cusps in the sign of Scorpio, the energy of the gate of dun, 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 dun. Sorry, this is my Gemini. <laughs> death, the gate of death. All about transformation. Scorpio is a female sign, is a fixed sign, and is an emotional water sign. It's all about emotions and deep, deep, deep feeling. And it's like the tip of the iceberg that you get to see in the water, but below the surface, there's a whole giant, giant Himalaya of ice. It's fixed water that can transform into water, into air again and they are here to experience the deep feelings of figurative letting go destruction destroying the old the ego they have intense experiences in their life they can go through literal uh, changes in, in their whole being um, um, can be initiated by the surroundings, even physical, they can change. And they, when they overcome their fears that they're facing in their lives, the drama, the fear of death um, as it is, they can become the greatest healers, psychologists, helping other people to pass through the hardships of life that they attract in their life or create or they are interested in. It, it is not that if you have a lot of Scorpio energy or you're a Scorpio sun, moon or ascendant, it, your life is doomed. No, it's the, the, the theme of transformation the theme of transformation will be in your life uh, for sure. So uh, let me see. Um, so when they have a lot of crisis in their own life, at the same time, they're very connected, emotionally connected, energetically connected with, with other persons. They can easily relate and they can use their their they they can use their deep feeling they feel things that other people don't feel to help others or be an influence you know to they really can control other persons so they can influence them for the good and manipulate them for the good and of course for the bad they can really also just like let somebody else do things for you just because you, you want to take advantage of them maybe maybe not even consciously you know it's just something that you do um they need to learn to um master their emotions control their emotions so they don't drown in their drama and they don't they need to um keep on feeling as deep as they can but then without losing themselves there in and, and getting to a depression and actually um the scorpio energy has the has the capacity and the, the the emotional the focus and strength to take action action after feeling for a longer period of time and maybe something triggers them from the outside and in the midst of all these difficulties to really find their strength and really you know be the phoenix and rise up and they have they have the capacity to this is the transformation you know to in the midst of it all when everything around them feels in their emotion is so hard they find their strength and they stand up and they heal they transform this is why they can be such great healers yes and it goes deep for them so deep you have no idea what they can feel and they don't show you know they show the tip of the iceberg because they are very private um it's only when you get to know them very well uh, <clears throat> intimate 
especially very intimate level that you can see the iceberg of how deep they feel and um yeah actually even you know the balance that they that we tend not to say scorpions have um this is also why you know if there is nothing going on in their life, they, they look for it. Um, it. The best thing is by reading about it, studying about it, you know, be interested in life after death, reading about sex and tantra and transform transformative energies through drama crisis. Um, you know, um, you don't have to live five divorces and, and, and dying persons in your in your surroundings to live the life of Scorpio it is the interest in it as well the reading about it and studying about that as a matter of fact um that's what I already told so they will they will not easily get into a depression because they find the strength in them to fight it off because they they uh, even when they're like a, a a fixed sign, they're also a water sign which moves, and it's an emotion. And emotions, when they are get fixed, of course, it, they it's like getting it's like a swamp. It's not water anymore. It's water that's not moving. So not I like a swamp, and they can be in that for a very long time, but then they 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 drain the swamp. They clean it out, and they they you know the, the like a lotus in. The roots are also in the depth of of the of the dirt, and they rise up from that. But I already said that, but I'm so passionate about that part because we all have Scorpio um, in our chart, and maybe it's weak in weaker position, or you know, um, less energy goes there, but it still is there. So everybody, if if you lack this kind of focused emotional driven desire ambition to you know rise up no matter what the subject is you just you know you can focus on mm, Scorpio well, let me think what day it was Tuesday I forgot you can have like a crocodile or Scorpio like uh, amulet or something carry it around with you um, you don't have to go as far like Scorpio tattoo but Anything that relates to Scorpio, um, carry it around. Or if I if I think of more things, I will write it down uh, below the video. Um, you, so if, if you want, yeah, it's Tuesday because yes, because also Scorpio is ruled by Mars, which gives them the drive also, and they will maybe not look like they are. Uh, they are not go getters like get up and do the things. No, they will get up and do the things but strategically they will think about it but the thinking will be more feeling about it they they are very intuitive to know when to do what without you know um it's not the kind of like just go get it and we didn't think about it what we what we were doing they and they are um they have an uh, you know an empowerment and um, a strategy that can be cunning and uh, you know and secretive and um blah 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 yeah so like i said they go very deep understand a lot of things anything below the surface um with their own body they are uh, uh, likely to get especially during when their childhood when they're little they're the kind of kid that has bruises and cuts and you know you have these children that end up the first five years like 10 times in the in emergency of the hospital with a broken leg uh, some cuts here or there or some muscle strains and they are very they're more prone to that and they are um like accidents happening and fever and maybe they need some surgery already um it's very important for them to really be active in their health what helps them very much is to 
do uh, a lot of sport and it's something like a high intensity sport, like very short and high energy. It would be good for them, but anything really that is uh, that they use, they need to use their muscles and uh, they get tired from that. And um, also for, for all the energy, they have a lot of energy. This is why also the, they, they are blessed with uh, energy for, I know, you know, I don't know how many people like when you see them, you get tired. <laughs> they they focus on so many things at the same time and they have the energy for that. They also when they're they are out of energy, they are very easily when they're depleted, it it, it, it comes easily back. They have they have the, the Scorpio energy has this capacity. Also, um they have a good appetite and um um they can they like to to share their food to eat themselves but not only their food you know the more the money they have the more they share the more um they feel their their self-esteem and their uh, self-worth also depends on on uh, the, the positions they have and how they give themselves the energy so the energy that they have is you have the literal energy um well the figurative energy in your body then but also the tangible one like money food how you take care of yourself and actually they have they are very very lucky with this in their life to get what they um need and more uh, they they get they get lucky breaks with uh, when it comes to positions and whether it's money or uh, anything else that can take care of their uh, needs but also for their family and they are uh, they are the more um, noble their intentions are to make money, the more they will get. Um, you know, when their the ideals are very, um, when the ideals are high, and the way they not make money, but also gather money and um, like have savings in 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 which way, one way or the other, and they are very, they're they're very optimistic about that because. They can work hard for that. They have the energy to work for it. They they have a lot of energy to work, and they really go for it. And then on top of that, they have um, a lot of luck there. Um, how they think? Hmm. Well, you have to know one closer to experience it. Um, I like their way of thinking. I um. Well, I start with the good part <laughs> because they're so funny, man. <laughs> they're so sarcastic, if you like that, and they have such a dark humor. <laughs> um, they, they have a language, man. I, they, they're so direct, and they really find their words, and it's like, chuck, 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 chuck. And they're very organized, and there's not a lot of uh, 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 like what I'm doing. They really is like one machine that's talking, 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 and they say everything very direct, structured, clear, um, and also in, and also in their in the, just in the way of talking. But sometimes they don't even mean to be funny, <laughs> and maybe it's not funny because it can be very sarcastic, dark, mean. <laughs> but they find that their words. Um, and they can say it so cunningly and to the point. Um, on the other hand, um, they can have, um, you know, they see troubles or they don't trust. They don't have so much trust directly how their mind works. And then also in their communication with others, you re they really need time. Time, time, time to gain trust because they see some trouble or fear or possible things that can go wrong, and they already calculate in when this can go wrong. I should do this. I should do that, and they already think beforehand maybe that all the things that could go wrong and what they have to do then, I have the solution for it and and the strategy for it, and um, they're very strong thinkers and uh, they're strong in their mind and. Um, um, must be very tiring. This is what I think, <laughs> but they're strong thinkers. So the worrying part can really deplete. Um, 
they can have when it's too much is too much now and when the strength is like draining them uh, in their mind um good for them to take a break of their worrying part and focus on the strength is organizing um um yeah they are very good when it comes to learning something skill a skill there because the organizing part they will see they have a like an interest in something or a talent for something but they're not there yet they still have to learn a lot of things they will really see how to learn that skill bit by bit time, time by time every day and they will have they can have a good perseverance to complete it until they're very skillful and very organized and so they because of their organization skills and mentally as well and the way of thinking they and combined with the skill they're also good in organizing their own life uh, administration or if it's in a job you know you're working for the the big boss and organizing his ag agenda or you know your own agenda and your flight schedule and anyway that's uh something that works well for them something else um yeah so if you get too close to them they're talkative and and um to the point they if they think something they will say it <laughs> <laughs> and they say everything um um also from their own life that you think you, you should say this about your partner and but the partner probably is so used to it that the, if, if they're a long time together that is kind of you know normal this is they are to the point and um clear and um um but you have to get in their circle because they are kind of social but they can be uh, like i said um reserved because can be can look like being shy but it's not shy it's more like do they trust you and you, like i said they're very intuitive and when they feel something is off they will show you the tip of the iceberg <laughs> um maybe they will keep on talking like the way they communicate and the way they think um I don't know. It's because I I am lucky to know some scorpions. Very good. It's nice. I like it. Anyway, uh, and they're full of contradictions. Oh, so lovely. <laughs> I don't know why I like complicated things, but it's not all complicated. They are the best, really. And they go deep. Nice. <laughs> it's like watching a movie. <laughs> Anyway, let me continue. Um, oh, they do need space and freedom. It is like in their home life, it's be they're better off being friends with their parents. Of course, when they have the age for it, because it's quite difficult to be a friend of your little little girl or boy or your young teenager when they're doing all crazy stuff. But they don't really thrive well when, when the parent is being very bossy. Um, authoritative they are uh, more into breaking free and um, destroying the old and inviting some new energy and maybe kind of rebellious um, they like to have they're friendly try to say the friendly atmosphere with their parents this works way better for them the forcing doesn't doesn't just doesn't work for them and um, in their home, they like also to have their own space. On the other hand, they like a lot of friends around them. And um, yeah, a, lo a lot of friendly, uh, friendly environment, but they need their own space as well because they are a very, they're, they long to be deep inside of them, a special different. They feel different in, in, in individual. And um for this reason they need like their own little space like if you have a kid with a lot of scorpio energy they need their own bedroom or at least a little place that is like theirs like this is the the table where they can draw their art or anything uh read about serial killers <laughs> life after death six anyway um so, like I said, the better of friendly parents. They also 
the parents, one of the parents can also be uh, quite different, unusual, different and different, or um, the living circumstances can be that because, and if they're not in their own life later, they are not probably the type that are very into let's have yay Christmas and or, you know, another religious thing, um, Hanukkah or uh, the sugar sugar party the muslims I, i'm saying it wrong i'm sorry mm. they they're not so much into that they they're not very traditional no they're more out of the box when it comes to that so but they do do really find their deep emotional um you know safety feeling of you know belonging and the psychological um platform so that they're not in the swamp, but with the feet on the ground and then feeling, you know, comf like cozy, they do find that in a in with with a friendly environment at home. So, or, or it's their peers and their friends that are coming there, or they create a, 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 a friend relationship with the parents. Yes, um, whew. Where they find their joy, oh, when they can really, at one point, forget about um, who they are. How do I say that? They like to lose themselves, not forget about who they are. Maybe it can be blurry for them, like to have a clear picture of them. But what brings them joy is when you know when you're doing something and you're in the flow and the hours pass and you you, you say, my God, three hours passed, what have I been doing? And you felt no time and you were just, the joy can be a peaceful joy, like a calm joy, it can, or it can be like an ex, exuberant, how do you say that? Joy. So anything for them where they actually lose their boundaries, don't feel boundaries, and in the positive way, it can be like they're drawing, they're painting, they're, they're creating, they're being uh, creative, making bracelets, jewelry, uh, uh, music, listening to music, making music, anything where they, it can be a sport where they just, you know, merge into it. And this is where they find great joy or maybe poetry or, um, Anything that is, man, also out of this world feeling. That, and the negative side, it can be um, substances, blah, 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 substances, substances, yes, drugs, alcohol, um, losing yourself in sex. It doesn't all have to be all negative. I mean, we are living in a society in the West where this is all here and it probably is meant to be here to, for the experience and I don't know why, <laughs> but too much, or for some people, um, it can really go out of of, of balance. But is is what this is what they're looking for for the, the flow? And oh yes, um, some spiritual practice where you can also get into the flow. Like people can find this in. Singing of mantras in in a yoga in um, meditation any any spiritual practice um, walking meditation that I don't know <sighs> that that they really can this is why I say forget about themselves because. Scorpio is about the transformation and, and the gate of death. In a way, there's something deep inside of them that wants to die and re, and, and re, reborn again. This is why also they can uh, inflict pain on themselves and uh, self-damaging uh, self um, behaviors because deep inside themselves, they want to you know, get rid of this ego and then, and then feel who they are beyond all the um, all the ideas that we have, that we are, all the names that we give ourselves, and all the identifications, and this is one of the uh, base things. So where was I? Oh, yeah. So also in sex, when they have, they they can really 
they want to lose themselves. They can have very high ideals about romance and they're very vulnerable when it comes to falling in love and romance. They first lose themselves in it very easily. No boundaries, you know? They're like jellyfish with no skeleton and and then they are disappointed because, you know, yeah, we're not perfect. And uh, we are get deep disappointed from ourselves, from others, because you have this dream of union, of merging. And maybe he's, he's not even conscious, you know, don't know why you have this feeling. So it's kind of vulnerable, um, hard to oh, fall in love with a, with, a, with a person that's not available, you know, <laughs> a married person. And, and, and I have a romance and it's ideal of, and, and, and it is wonderful. But yeah, you get disappointed because it will, it, at one point, it doesn't bring you what your, the, the merging stops because, yeah, for the obvious reasons. Um, um the, the joy they derive can also be from their child they merge with their child their firstborn it can be very important for um, a scorpio to the first years of their for the firstborn to really be part of of maybe like you know work part time or work from home or just a couple of years stay at home mother and their their ambition that they have and they work hard and change to the child because they, it's possible that they can really feel a super connection with it very or the child is very spiritual or oh the worst the worst of the worst but this rarely is seen is lost you know lost feeling lost feeling lost but this is not the joy part this is the down part but what brings them joy is the good side of feeling lost you know the, the nice part of like whew, the flowing part of not being in this rigid tangible square world <laughs> that it's not but you know it can feel like that all right let me continue ah oh, yeah uh, a lot more but cannot say everything so when it comes when they have a job and they have a boss and they have colleagues <laughs> and it's they will create competition and so it's better for them to work or to be their own boss or to be in an environment where competition is needed for the job so they don't start fighting <laughs> with colleagues <laughs> or something or it's not that they start fighting but the atmosphere is like that that somebody you know that they react to it and and in in a direct way they're not afraid to 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 confront and they they will go into the discussion they will not shut up their mouth and oh my god they can talk <laughs> i told you you have no idea and um if you're on the other end <laughs> i don't want to be on the other end when they want to fight with you really not Ooh. i would then just listen to and then learn from what they say so they can fight for for um, the good, of course. Also, from some, if somebody is like they see if somebody is not um, treated well in the job environment, or also for their own health, they they like I said, they need to sport, work out, take care of their health. In a, they cannot should not wait if they have a problem. They just uh, take initiative. Don't say I'm going to go to the doctor uh, after Easter, after the holidays, after no, just you know go. Um, they can push themselves very hard because they have all the energy, and but also others, which can be very annoying. So they can be very bossy. Um, it, other persons can find them irritating or, you know, pushy um, when it comes to the work environment and their daily life. They are they need action. They oh, you will rarely see them rest. Their resting is or sleeping are then they're thinking about what they're going to do but the real the, there's not too much rest in their life um well because they're really their 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 whole being is connected to work and um 
even when they are in the, in the age that they can retire or they should retire by the government, they, well, they're not good with governments and institutions like that, but they should not stop working. They need to find a new thing to do and keep on working. You know, it's not like they are saying, now I'm going to walk every day and just rest. No, not for them. It's not good for their health either. They should not do that. Once, you know, the romantic, no boundaries, falling in love, disastrous combinations sometimes of Scorpio finds the one, it brings them balance. Is is what them brings the most balance is uh, most of the time they have a the partner that is the, like in a committed relationship you that know, they have children you buy a house with you know marriage whatever contract you have in between it's kind of um uh like this or even you know um maybe in business if they if they would work with somebody it has to be stay not a drama person but somebody that is uh, <clears throat> more early grounded stable um um less in, into the deep feeling maybe of, of uh, but they are, they are, they, blah, 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 I lose my track. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, they find their balance with a one-to-one -one relationship. If it's in a marriage, is it, it's in a marriage. If it is in business with somebody, where they can be the boss and the other person is, you know, like maybe the the one that brings the finances more than somebody that brings the money and is more the fundament, the stability uh, works very well for them. Um, they can meet their uh, other half um, in a faraway country or in a hidden place in a secretive way um, in the bedroom. <laughs> in a faraway hotel, in some private area, and their partner will be more stable and, and less dramatic, as I said, but but into into the good things of life, more sensual and loving, like, uh, you know, having good food, uh, nice music. They both will appreciate a lot um, art in their way you know it can art doesn't it can be um house music <laughs> can be classical music you know um you have art everywhere mm. yeah so they will be more like the the sexy kind of partner and their partner will be more like the the stable sensual force in the relationship and then themselves once they have this stable relationship they will prefer to stay in it um, even when sometimes things go bad and they want to leave or whatever they tend to stay and have the stability in this relationship and um, this is very important for them actually this is where they find their stability. And they will be caring for their partner. Yes. Because, you know, and also their partner brings harmony to them and stability. Um, I always, already said that when it comes to drama and they they create it in their life or they are attracted or they in, interested in it and they are very good in dealing with that by investigating it, getting all the facts, talking about it uh, with others about their own problems or, you know, to a person who's in a drama situation and, um, you know, communicate about it. Read about it, study it, and uh, maybe in like a, in a few people, not big groups, but just a few people to talk about it. Um what else? Yeah, they're very interested. I already, I'm repeating myself now. So they, what else they can heal through is like, um, besides talking, uh, you know, writing like journaling or go for a walk, uh, do something with their hands, create something. Hmm. 
And like I said, they are very direct in their talking, so they can be very good. Um, they can influence people with the with their skills and their knowledge about. So they have this combination of feeling so deep and have the emotional connection and feeling the energy of others an energetic feeling and then in at the same time when there when there is big crisis they also have the capacity to be objective in a way and have the facts and you know talk clearly about it without losing themselves in in in, in the emotions so it's very interesting combination mm. And they're focused on it. So they're very good in emergency situations. Uh, could be a profession for them. Um, like, <laughs> also, um, the the drama in, 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 the, in the more complicated way can be, you know, in the, in the criminal activities and in the underworld and more darkness and, like, you know, sell drugs and stuff like that. And yeah, they can be good at that also. So it goes up, goes down. But when they have, um, they are when they, they are also interested in in these topics of the occult and um, magic. It can be white magic, dark magic, uh, anything that penetrates deep that goes under the surface. And they like to then read about that, like I said. But <sighs> they're very caring they when it comes to their when their their vision or i mean their when what, the things that open their mind and how the world and humanity should operate and you can look at this at the point of philosophies or religions but um their higher ideals come from their feeling their emotions so if they have a if they have anything like a feeling of some divini divinity, they feel it. Is they will they are not maybe gonna read about that, but they're gonna read about the sex and the and the drugs and the death after life. But they feel the connection with something bigger than them. Whether how they translate it doesn't matter. It's not like my angels or God or universe or just a motherly feeling also a connection with mother earth can then be like that they they feel like um we have to take care of each other and like we're we are family as a i can as not being a scorpio <laughs> trying to translate it but it is a deep feeling a caring feeling and they can be very defensive about it also and, and defensive in the way of like how you have a belief and it's how you would protect your child and it's like they this is how they can protect their beliefs yeah so very compassionate also very 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 much um very good for them they can live in another country because you know where they're their feel at home can be in a place that broadens their horizons that opens their mind and where you're where you live is where you get to feel emotional connected and this creates also their their broadness of their worldview they need their space alone and their privacy and you get the tip of the iceberg but they are very ambitious when it comes to um, their career and their, their if, if they they can really shine in this this area and 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 get um you know like uh, uh they have an ambition there they can shine there they can get recognition there they can be the boss of their own of their own company or when they work in a bigger company um they can be you know like of a division the boss they don't you know not necessarily the biggest boss if they're if they're working for a company it's, it's possible they have a bossy boss and like i said they, it's better for them to be friends with their parents at one point but they have kind of also maybe a bossy 
parent for a while. Uh, they enjoy working. They enjoy uh, having a career. So if they if they are in a job and with the bossy boss, uh, they can learn a lot there. But maybe the best for them is to become their own boss and be the boss of others and then learn not to be so bossy but be like an example of um what your what what your what brings you joy they really enjoy and find their um self-esteem when they can walk into the world and they also have these um maybe the the worldly 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 reputation Mm. You know, to be confident, and this can be like a good thing when, when the Scorpio has learned a lot and use his energy for the good. If it's not quite there yet, yet, and we're all learning, we're all we're all fucking up all the time, and sometimes we don't. And they can they can have more the reputation of maybe being more selfish that things are about them, and they uh, oh, it's all uh, about their life and their self um well they're very self-motivated um to go after um the things they want and 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 if they are in the spotlight they are kind of private persons but when it comes to their work and their ambition they are okay with it as long as then after they can have their privacy and you know they they'd like to be recognized for for that um anything else there are a lot of things else um, to gain their to gain to to the dreams that they have in their life everybody you know if, when you have a dream you have to work at it they have to think practical and critical they are, can be very critical towards themselves and towards their dreams and and practical they need a practical approach and also when they appro- when they are um, into some networking and they will do that when it is of use for them in a practical way and or in a very specific niche you know we're not going to go into this network or a group that everybody is in we're not going to go in where the whole all the women of the village go to no it will find something specific interesting uh, maybe a niche uh, that can help him her reach her goals um if it is just you know Maybe for fun, he will not see them in these big groups. It will have to be of use for the Scorpio to be connected in a network system. Uh, they can be uh, critical towards their friends, um, but they mean it good to improve. And on the other hand, their networks can be critical to them as well. goes both ways. They... They want to reach their dreams and have gains. They they will you know go to the details and fix it in the detail. Very specific, and also the the groups they they will be strategic when it comes to the group. On the other hand, um, this sounds like very you know yeah I just said it strategic. On the other hand. They can be very helpful in the groups that they're in. It's not all about them. They, it is about them, but also they will be very can be very of service and helpful with their friends and these networks. Ah, it's getting chilly. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. Ah, oh, so. In their very, 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 very private area of their life, only a few people are allowed into. You can find the Scorpio is into drama and big transformations, even, you know, with some stability and trying to find balance and loving peace and beauty. And it's hard for them to get there. They can. It's where they what they really long for and because this is where they 
when they let go of everything and reach in, inside of themselves into their deep, deep unconscious, subconscious, in their dream area, their part that you know can let go of their ego. They long for the peace and the beauty and the tranquility. And maybe together they find it easier with somebody with with their partner than than alone. The way that they can access this is by by their by their creativity. They they most of the time have some art that they can do. You know, can be the small things like putting on makeup or doing hair or making clothes or anything and you know creatively they reach into the more you know before you can let go you have to find that they're so active they have so much energy there's so much transformation they're they go through pain and they they get strong from it and they can help a lot of other people they're the best helpers if they learn to control their emotions and feel them and stand in their power and but they also need to surrender sometimes to just in, in peace and beauty and they find it um in balance in beautiful environments that look peaceful sensual maybe cultural Ah, oh, do I know something else? Maybe not do it alone. As much as they like their privacy. Or they find um, this within themselves. You know? You're the true, you have your, all, all the things that you uh, and we identify with. And then you just merge with the capital Y-O-U. In you when they go to a far away place or they their place that they're alone you should make it beautiful or uh, like don't go just camping in a far away place and go glamping in the far away place to really get to that surrendering feeling and the the deep the deep connection with yourself what you're longing for they long for is beautiful peace and at the same time when they're there they can create a drama <laughs> and to you know so so it can be destroyed and die and then reborn again in a more beautiful way or in a stronger way, in a, in a more fuller way, in a rising of the phoenix way. All right. That was it for tonight. Uh, Scorpio time. It is almost Halloween. Samhain. The layers getting more thin between what we can see and what we cannot see. Maybe we can feel more. So it's really Scorpio time. They already feel so much. So tune in, you Scorpios, into the mystery, into the hidden, into the secrets. By all means, there are so many secrets coming out. If you dive a little bit deeper than normal social, normal media, normal social media, there's so much that is there to read about. You know how many people are dying now? <laughs> more than normal. <laughs> It's not funny. But anyway, if you believe in life after death, you know, it's not the end. Even with all the people dying from all the misery in the world that normal media is not always covering. No, no, no. But you Scorpios can dig it. You can be the best conspiracy theorist. <laughs> all right. Mr. and Mrs. Scorpio energy. Thumbs up for you. Love you. Bye-bye.